Okay, this time we're going to start. Oh, I should have moved that. Hold on. We're going to start with. There we go. Don't touch. Okay, we're going to start with um, a block, and then we're going to add subsequent blocks back, going back into space. So instead of having one um, object where we're dividing up the sides, we're going to start with an object and then add more objects onto it. And we're going to try to uh, do it so that it hopefully looks clear enough down in this space down here. Maybe to do that um, and have it be the most clear, um, I'll start with a new um, eye level and we'll kind of do a mini version down here, okay? So let's start again with our eye level moving across, getting that as precise as we can. So that's our eye level again. Then we'll uh, start with a um, leading edge of a cube or a block coming down off of that eye level. Let's start about here. Yep. And now this we're going to take this vanishing point off um, to off our paper over here. with this side, angling that bottom um, edge up, knowing that it will converge with that uh, end over there. But then we'll, we will put a vanishing point over on this end so that we can see that. Back to the vanishing point and back to the vanishing point. These are construction lines they're going to help us out, but we're going to start again just with this one single block in the front, like this, and the side doesn't have to be that wide. Let's go like this, and then we're going to make the top going back to the vanishing point over this away and this edge is going to go back to the vanishing point eventually converging over on the right okay so now we have this block and we want to repeat maybe these are um like alphabet blocks or something that are all the same or maybe they're train cars that would go back or maybe they are the beginnings of apartment buildings or condos that are all the same going back. Um, so it's similar to this measuring line method, but just a little bit different. We do start with a measuring line coming off to the left. This time uh, it's coming off to the, the same side that we're um, going to be working on here, like this here and this here. We want that measuring line to come off that leading edge, horizontal line coming right out from that leading edge. Now let's say we want to do four of these going back. So let's do four equal measurements along this one. And let's do that in half inch increments for the heck of it. So we've got one, two, three, four. Okay, so now with this one, we went from the last measurement through that corner up to the to make a special vanishing point. With this one, we're going from the first measurement, measurement number one. We're going from there through that corner up to the vanishing point. Okay, no, no not that again. Um, don't know where my noggin is at all times. Okay, so from measurement one through that bottom left corner of the block, 
up to the vanishing point. So this becomes our special vanishing point. Starting with number one, not from number four, but with from number one. Now we can go line up that special vanishing point with each of those measurements. Again, going from where the tick mark hits the measuring line, not where it's floating up there in space. And where it intersects with this bottom edge, that's where we stop. Okay, From measurement number three back to the special vanishing point, And from number four to the special vanishing point. Okay. Right there. So you can see that each of those gets subsequently smaller as it goes back in space. So now let's drop our verticals down. Aligning that with the eye level and sliding it along our second block. Just up, we just go up to that top edge of that plane, right? We don't keep it going up here because this is gonna be the top of the box that we're gonna run this line over here, right? So we just go this plane right here that's going back in space, we're just dividing that up, right? Sliding that along the eye level here, and our last division here. Okay, so that now from each of these, we would go over to the eye level over here, and uh, to the vanishing point over on the right. Because that's going off of uh, the paper, we're just gonna kind of guesstimate those, but knowing that they converge over there. And as they get closer, as each of those planes gets closer to the eye level, it's gonna get skinnier and skinnier. So each of those planes gets subsequently smaller as they go back away from us in space. So there we have our lines of blocks as they go away from us. So those are some other um, techniques, some other methods to help you in foreshortening and using linear perspective to help you create that illusion of three dimensions on a two-dimensional surface. So hope that helps out. Let me know if you have any questions and I look forward to seeing those assignments.